So today we got a little bit of a bonus video because I was working on this Amiga 1000 for this week's video and I realized I don't have a kickstart disc. So I'm going to have to rummage through some of the boxes that came from the stone collection to find some. I was putting Amiga stuff aside because I knew I was going to need it. So we're going to unbox a couple of boxes and hopefully we'll find some kickstart discs in there. I'm pretty sure if I've got them, they're in there. If not, backup plan? Grease Weasel. Fortunately, most of the Amiga stuff went into two boxes that I held aside because I knew I'd want it sooner than later. Let's take a look at what we got. Yep, box number, oh, where'd that come from? And this box is labeled Amiga. And uh, in the last video, a lot of the stuff that went into this box was in the unboxing. So I will be very brief going through what's in here. NEC phone PBX discs, the macro assembler in C, we saw that before. Wow, pay dirt right off the bat. Kickstart version 1.3, workbench 1.3 A1000, uh, unlabeled disc, gizmo, extras, appetizer, or is that appetizer? Tutorial, and Amiga Run 64 version 1.2. So there, wow, that's what I'm looking for. But we'll we'll finish the unboxing anyway. I honestly didn't think they were going to be in this box. I thought they'd be in the next one. All right, an exciting new interactive word game sensation from QLink Puzzler Control Deck. For the Nintendo 64. I don't remember seeing anything that looks like that, but I'll keep my eye out. And always useful. More stone storage. I'll probably have way too many of those until I start setting things aside that uh, have a couple of those tucked in with them for a while. Daytel Electronics, the ultimate backup cartridge is here. Mark IV, oh, action replay. That would be cool. Uh, Jiffy DOS manual. DC Bugs Lottery Disc, number 42, 1988. Dweezel Disc 1, 2, and the Geo Stamp Big Stamp Disc, also from Dweezel. So literally Quincy Softworks original discs still in the mailer. Commodore Users Public Information Discourse from John C. Blewett in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, attention Carl Stone, LCCUG editor. Disc Treasures, the Treasure Chest of Utilities. FGM Manual Supplement and File Updates. FGM Manual Supplement and File Updates. Chapters 12 through 14, Basic Startup and Graphic Manipulation. Cupid Software, Commodore Users Private Issue Disk, Load Cupid, 8, 1. DC Bug Notcher, and more Cupid. And again, disks still in the mailer. It's like a Geos catalog. Geos News, what will run on what? Now you can see why I'm planning to do most of the unboxings on live streams, and I've been working on that. I think I should be able to do something in the next couple of weeks. Tips and Tricks, TNT, Volume 1. These look like they're both the same thing. Oh, the other one has handwritten on it, revised. Electronic Arts Financial Cookbook, the calculator that does all the work. And there is indeed a disc, and it is Amiga 256K required. So that is indeed Amiga. And then things that could have been in the hard drives, should have been in the hard drives. Amiga Informer showed that briefly in the last video. This is a very early seeming magazine. This is just 
looks like photocopied. Uh, it's not much different than our own newsletter. It's a little better, better uh, print quality. All right. Bunch of discs with no labels. Even more stone storage. There's the fish discs that we saw before. Lock pick for the 64 and 128. It literally tells for each program how to copy the disc. Temple of Apshai, copy the entire disc. Never use an original disc for experimentation. And it tells exactly what settings to use to copy it. And so, yeah, it tells you which different software to use. Most of it looks like it's something called Cracker Pack, so maybe this goes with it. Amiga 501 memory expansion. I can put that with the Amiga 501. Or the Amiga... No, that doesn't have an A501. It's got an aftermarket. This is some kind of a Mindscape mailer, but there's nothing in it but a uh, catalog. Speedball War Game Construction Set. The Return of the Son of Stone Storage. Lemmings, Bat, Textcraft, Wonderland, Road War. Yeah, we've seen all of this. All right, so there's that box, but there's another one. Oh, and, uh, it just says discs on it, but this is, I'm sure, the one that had Amiga stuff. This tape doesn't stick worth beans on these boxes. All right, so 1080 monitor manual, Amiga Basic, Amiga Basic manuals. Commodore 1541 Troubleshooting and Repair Guide by Michael Peltier. That, that is an absolutely enormous book to cover just the 1541. Oh, and it's all flowcharts. I hate flowchart troubleshooting. I like know what you're doing troubleshooting a lot better. But if you just need to get a drive fixed, that's a great way to do it. You don't want to become an expert on 1541s. Uh, Amiga Basic. That's three. Is that Amiga Basic? Oh, Introduction to the Amiga. Which Amiga? Amiga 1000. So there's an introduction guide for the Amiga 1000. That looks like one of those books that's supposed to go nice like that. All right, so what else do we have here? So you'll see as I do unboxings that most, if not all of the boxes have been reopened. That's because we ran out of the baking soda and they really need it. There's a very musty smell to a lot of stuff. Um, you know, some people say it smells like mold. Some people say it smells like a, a library. Uh, either way, most of the boxes will be boxed up for some time. So having one of these in each and every one of them should help. Okay. Amiga Discs, Borrowed Time, Audio Visual Concept Label and Program for Amiga Computers. Excellence, Original Master, Do Not Use. Amiga World Tech Journal, September 91, 25 cent tag on it. Bad Dudes for the Amiga. Hybris with a homemade label. Workbench 1.3 with a homemade label. Volume 2, number 3 of AC's Tech. Chroma Paint. Sports Basketball, Spectrum Holobyte, Leaderboard, AC Tech Volume 1, Number 4, Amiga Tech Journal, January and February of 92, and Disc 32, two complete utilities worth 120 pounds, Byte by Byte, Sculpt 40 Junior, Power Pack Professional 3. What is next? Oh, there's Amiga Kickstart, Original Master. Since it doesn't have a version, I'm going to assume it's 1.0, but, you know, what happens when you assume. Checkmate, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 2,500. Chess Master 2,000. Thunderhawk, Disc 1. Thunderhawk, Disc 2. Wings of Fury from Broderbund. Lemmings 2 Disc 1, Lemmings 2 Disc 2, Lemmings 2 Disc 3. Hey, we're getting up into the many discs. And oh no, more Lemmings! Cygnosis, oh no, more Lemmings. Soundscape update from Memetics. Hacker. Hacker. 
Don't know. Marauder, maybe? It's got a label over it. It doesn't say on the disk end. Discovery Software International, two drives recommended. All right. So there is a kickstart disk. Pulling that aside. Next box. Nope, oh, looks like more. System Disk 1, Original Master. Workbench, Hard Disk Disk 1. Uh, it's just a crusty looking disk, so is that. 1.2 Kickstart. 1.1 Kickstart. 1.2 Workbench. Deluxe Video Demo Disk, Original Master with a serial number. 1.1 Workbench. 1.1 Amiga Basic and Tutor. Amiga Extras, A Basic, Tutor is scribbled out. Don't remember where I started. I bet you I'm going in a loop. Nope. Copy, Kickstart, 1.2. Important disk! And there's the system disk we started with. Pro Raider from Progressive Casualty Insurance. Personal Lines, disk one of two. Disc 2 of 2, and Partner Installer, 523.95. Somebody was an insurance agent. I don't think it was Carl. Another Workbench Original, another Extras, another Extras. DVATs, DUATs, Disc 1, don't know. Kickstart 1.3 for the Amiga 1000. Workbench for the Amiga. So I will put all of these kickstart and workbench discs aside. Oh, that looks like more of... More of the same. It's all prorater stuff for an insurance agent. That's a stack of discs. Next box of discs. It's only rock and roll. Amiga Gazette Disquette of Special Utilities. CLTD. SCSI DOS version 2.01. SDI. Outrun. Sega for the Amiga. Thunderblade for the Amiga. The Colony. Colony Disc 2, J4th, Amiga Tech Journal. I really hope these Tech Journal discs all have the original stuff on it. Red Baron 32 Color Disc 1 from Dynamics, and that was here in Eugene. I know some people who worked there. And Fire Zone. So, more Amiga software. I am not going to argue with that. The more Amiga, the better, right? Just some blank unlabeled discs. Don't know what's on them. Don't. Okay, here's a bunch of three and a half inch discs in a cardboard box. I would say as new looking as these are, although they're not all the same color, I think this is just a box of blank diskettes. Right. Next, this is like really puffed up. I don't know what's going on with it, but... Ah! Goes that way. Ah! More kickstarts. Okay. Until I was throwing all the stuff like this into a box just because I knew I was going to need it for these machines. So these are all just, looks like, copies of kickstart and workbench. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, I think most of what's left in here is random stuff, so we'll take a quick look through it. There's one more disc of three and a half inch floppies. Amiga Format Disc 87B Toyland Capers. Another Tech Journal, December of 91. Spectrum Holobyte, Weltris. Design 3D Tools from Gold Disc. Dynamics Red Baron 32 Color Disc 3. Disc 2, so that was Disc 1 we had. Another excellent original master. Kaleidoscope from Electronic Arts. There's just two of those. 
data disc number one, The Impressionists from Electronic Arts. Megasoft, it's a copier. So a Amiga copier, a copier, SCSI DOS 2.0.1, manual. Oh wait, serial number says manual, but I just think they wrote there. Starboard 2, setup. Amiga DOS 1.1 only, partial workbench 1.1. Don't know, I'll have to look up what Starboard 2 is. I'm hoping it's a BBS. Amiga uh, Appetizer program disc. So there's another box of those. Next, I have a mega stack of five and a quarter inch discs. I don't know if we have time to go through all of them every time, but let's see what we can do here. Got Geos, Geos work disc, disc librarian, 1541 test demo disc, Epix destroyer, Vic 1541 test demo disc, Copied Mail C64. Um, Utilities Unlimited Supercard. Supercard V6. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego without a sleeve? Label Wizard. Glenn's Geos Disc. 64C. These are the ones that came with the 64. The Visible Computer 6502. Well, that sounds interesting. Okay. LCCUG. Disc, D-O-M, Disc of the Month, duh. LCCUG Disc of the Month, January of 98. Side 1, Library, January 89, Pen Pal 128 on Side 2. Library, so these are library discs from the LCCUG. Disc of the Month, December of 97. They kept going for a long time. That's awesome. So this is a live, which is a group, sounds like in Sacramento, California. Disc 1, Volume 3, Issue 6, uh, CEE 64 subscriber, main disc. And Disc 2, Volume 3, Disc 1, Volume 3. So I believe these are another user group's discs, which is kind of neat to find, especially... I'll have to see if these are archived because it would be awesome to uh, archive all of these because there's tons of them. And we come back around to the Geos. Okay, so now there's a box of discs that I put in here on purpose because I knew what this one was and I knew that this Amiga box would be opened soon. So, and this, I think I might have even showed it when I was out there but these are all LCCUG discs of the month. So that is a nice stack that will need to be checked and archived. So I did not want those going anywhere where they wouldn't be protected. Okay, this looks like a cluster. So I am going to move this box down because the rest of what's in it is bins so I can set the bins on the bench. Oh, there are more three and a halfs in there. Oh, that's kind of cool the way that flips up. CMD Ramlink Utilities. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, now I know why I stuck that one in the, uh, stuck that one in this box. So we weren't digging through all of them, but stuff, these must have been on his desk because those all got checked. So CMD hard drive utilities, CPM utilities, Geos utilities, Q-Link system, RAM link, HD menu, Geos backup, gateway, RAM link, gateway, gateway 64, HD utilities. Uh. So there is a set of Commodore 128 CPM disks. So hoping I'd find some of those at some point. I didn't dig all the way through stuff like this. If I saw something in the front, I would throw it in the box. So definitely an important bin to hang on to. Next, I uh, think this, I think this got saved for obvious reasons. They are all 
double-sided, double-density, brand new, well, new old stock discs. Okay, TRW Real Estate Information Services. Oh, this is cartridges. This was actually not supposed to be in this box. This was supposed to go in a, one of the big bins of software. Hopalong Counting, Fisher Price Learning Software for the Commodore 64. This is kind of cool stuff. I love cartridges. Up along counting. Minor 2049er. Simon's Basic. Huh. Gateway to Apshai. Jumpman Jr. Sierra Line. Sammy Lightfoot. Easy Calc 64. Think maybe it's a Pac Man clone? Dot Gobbler. One or two players by Mr. Computer Products. OEM Inc. Oh, it's an OEM cartridge. Yeah. Grid Warner from Hessware. Hessmon 2.0. Oh, I'm going to have to set that one aside because it's the uh, Hessmon 64, which is what I originally used. I thought it was unopened, but it's, it's open on the top. This is something that the instant I saw it, it went into my car because... I had been looking for it. So it has a blank cartridge. It just says Hessware in it and a manual. But since this is what I was using to make my game, I put this in Telengard the minute I saw them. Those went straight into my car, came back here. So I will put that Hessmon 2.0 in the same box. Save that. All right, what's else in here? Master type for the Commodore 64. Moon Dust. Is that a Moon Patrol clone? Probably not. But it's for the 64. Crisis Mountain from Creative Software. I think that's actually the name of it. Alpha Build. I don't think it's an Alpha Build. Fisher Price. And Up and Adam. Ooh. <laughs> Simon's Basic has seen better days. I think maybe somebody left a cigarette burning on that one. So, cartridges. Cool. Do you believe this is all brand new blank discs in black, purple, and gray. And the gray ones all say Lotus on them. Got one more box of five and a quarters. I don't know if this is random or in here for a reason. Kind of looks like it might be special. Swiss Family Supercard. These are all copies. Q-Link. Super Copy. Cracker Jacks. Home Video Manager. Lottery Picker. Top Secret Stuff. Repair a Track. Pirate Copier, LCCUG, February 1988 disc. I'm going to put that with those. Cracker Jacks, so 64 Doctor. That I'm going to set aside. Oregonia, Printer, Geos. Yes, this just looks like. A whole bunch of copies, mostly of copying programs. Copies of hacked copies of hacked copying software. Ooh, <laughs> we had a song for this one. It's too bad I can't sing, but so dissector more than meets the eye. But not much in there. So, now there's some discs. Turbo Linux 3.6 Companion CD. Red Hat Linux 6.0. Turbo Linux 3.0 Workstation Install Setup. SUSE Linux, is that how you pronounce it? SUSE? Linux, SUSE Linux 6.2. Caldera Open Linux 2.2. Linux Mandrake 6.1. Oh, just this is what I need. 
Linux for dummies. It's nice and small. And then in the bottom of the box, um, I believe what was being called stuffing out there are a whole bunch of floppy disks. Let's see if there's anything of note. All right, blanks, blanks. Since they're not labeled, I'm assuming they're blank, but if I uh, assume, you know what happens. And these have clearly been used before, so I'm keeping them in their bags in case they're a set of disks or something that just aren't labeled. Blanks, blanks, blanks. Ooh, oh, America Online for Windows version 2.5. America Online for Windows version 2. America Online for Windows version 3. America Online for Windows version 2.5. Prodigy install disk, still shrink wrapped. There is a floppy in here, but it is unopened. Internet Hunt from CompuServe, featuring the most powerful internet browser with the simplest internet connection. So, I actually used CompuServe back in the day, and this is dated June of 95, 695. So, that's hilarious. Well, that's a little time capsule. All right, I am so excited. Now that I finally got some Kickstart discs, I can get back and get this Amiga 1000 finished up. As soon as that restoration video is done, I'll link it right here. And in the meantime, here's another video you might like. Thanks for coming. Woohoo! This thing is so cool.